I'm not surprised by the program. Everybody's on steroids. <laughs> yeah, it's good to be back here in Vegas to check out the T-Mobile Arena. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I feel the last contest was a great fight. I have my reasons why I feel the fight went the way it went. And now I have an opportunity to prove what I am saying. Like I've proved many times before that what I say is correct. So. I look forward to August 20 where I will come in correct, prepared, sharp, and I will take this man out. I don't prepare for a specific opponent and the reasons are clear to everybody. Everyone I face pulls out. They pull out all the time. Last minute pull outs have been a staple in my career. So, uh, so I just carried on training. Even though I was preparing for the Sanyos in the last contest, I didn't even bring a cell boy into the camp. So this time, I'm preparing for a tall, lanky, ugly, Mexican southpaw. And that's it. Um, a lot more specific. I'm going to go in and put this man away, and that's it. Uh, Connor, we heard that you also want to fight again at 170. Uh, can you just tell us what your motivation is uh, behind that again? Um, you know, what kind of fighter would I be? If I lost the contest at a specific weight against a specific individual, and then I said, Well, you got me this time, I'll get you, cut a lot of weight, and I'll get you this time, I'll get you at that weight. So it makes sense for me to have the contest at 170 to right the, the wrong, you know, to leave no questions. This is the one, this is where I put everything to rest. Oh, this was a big criticism that you had of Connor. What do you make of the people that he's been working with in the last few months? Uh, I noticed some of the people he's working with, and uh, he's got some, some, uh, he's bringing top guys in, and, uh, you know, that, that's, what, that's what we should be doing, so, uh, yeah. I giggle, I giggle when they try and take that credit from me, for going up this way, for like 170, for, uh, 170 pounds, and they try and say, no, we're not, it's just a fight where I'm not cutting weight, or he's not cutting weight, and all this bullshit. Make no mistake, I am the undisputed 145 pound UFC champion. And, and that is my division, the division I have destroyed. Saturday night now, two, two uh, fighters get to fight and rise up and see where we are. But make no mistake, that 145 pound division is my division. I am the world champion at that weight and I will continue to dominate that division. I have other business that has, has uh, presented itself that I must handle first. Um, but make no mistake, 45, 155, these are all, these are all my divisions and I will continue to come back and, and, and dominate them. Yeah, I got that. Yeah, it should be better if I can prepare for a fight. Why not? It was a great fight the last time. I really enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll correct that win. I'll reclaim this. Let everyone, let all those featherweights know who are praying that I don't come back. I, find, I really, I swear to God, they say, I don't understand how they can even say I'm not coming back. Like I've missed weight before. I've never missed weight in my life. Not only have I not missed weight, I've actually made championship weight when I didn't even fight for a championship belt. So, um, I'll beat Nate, get that win back, dominate my division again, and then we'll wait really off for the trilogy fight with Nate. So, yeah, I believe this will be a trilogy fight. Yeah, I got, I got my team, that's a strong team, like always, and uh, I'm uh, gonna bring in, bring in some sparring to some other people. Yeah, I'm trained in a fighter. And I was pulling up on that as well. Do you expect a different Conor McGregor coming in this time? Yeah, I, I expect him to be prepared and ready. 
how do you think the difference is going to be? We're going to have to watch she or see 202 on August 20th to find out. Thank you guys so much for coming. Thanks for your patience. Thanks for waiting. Appreciate it.